Hello guys, Lakey Jake here. So for today, we are going to do the emergency generator load test. So come and I'll show you. So we have two ways on how to put the emergency generator on load. The first one is you put this key into manual and then press start and then so you put your ACB control into close and this ACB will close and this main switchboard for a uh, bus tie will open. In real situation, then you don't need to do anything. So the system should start automatically. But since we are only doing the test now, then we need to change over those essential loads which are running and connected to this emergency switchboard. The lift should also be put out of service because it will also get affected. So that's the other way on how to do the emergency generator load test. But for today, what we will be doing is that we will also be testing the allotted time if the our emergency generator will start, which is not more than 45 seconds. In order for us to do that, we need to open the main switchboard bus tie first. And once we open this one, and then we are good to go. So let's try it now. So after opening the main switchboard bus type, your emergency switchboard will be isolated from your MSB and then the no voltage sense will start. So now within 16 seconds, our emergency generator was activated. Then we will take all the parameters, the counters, voltages current and then we will keep the unit running for one hour and then we will restore it back so our engine cadet will be doing the restoring of the power so that he will be familiarized with the system so to reconnect the ESB to the MSB we need to put the system into manual and then we will open the emergency switchboard bus type and immediately close the main switchboard bus time so that's it that's how simple it is now everything is back to normal so that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for all your positive feedbacks and please continue to like and share all my knowledge sharing so that we can help other electricians too no? Thank you very much and see you on my next video.